The cast of Full House were out in force to pay their respects to Bob Saget as family, friends, fans and colleagues turned up to the late star's funeral. American actor and comedian Bob passed away soundly in his sleep last weekend at the age of 65 leaving Hollywood and fans in shock, while a full coroner's report explaining his exact cause of death is yet to be issued. On Friday, Bob's family were joined by a cast of stars as those closest to him turned up to pay their respects as he was laid to rest at Mound. Sinai Memorial Park Cemetery in the Hollywood Hills Reports had initially stated that a small gathering of 50 people were expected to attend the service, but reports later confirmed at least 300 had turned out to say goodbye to the star. Among those pictured attending were members of Bob's Full House cast, with John Stamos, who played Jesse Katsopoulos, Jody Sweden who played Stephanie Danner, and Candace Cameron, who played D. J. Tanner, in attendance. Comedians Dave Chappelle, Kathy Griffin, Jeff Ross and Chris Rock were also spotted attending the ceremony, while actor Seth Green was also in attendance. TMZ reports, we were told earlier today the service would be small, around 50 people, but turns out it's way bigger. At least 300 people were there to show pay their respects. On Thursday, 58-year-old John penned a heartbreaking post dedicated to his late co-star. The actor wrote on Twitter, The mornings are hard. Middle of day comes in waves. Mostly bad. Nighttime is hard. I miss getting a text from him right now. Me answering. Him saying has too tired to respond. Me saying, then had you text me so early? Ahead of Bob's funeral, John also wrote online, today will be the hardest day of my life. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can and wisdom to know the difference. John, who worked with Bob on Full House between 1987 and 1995, previously paid tribute to the Danny Tanner actor on Instagram. He wrote, I'm not ready to accept that has gone, I'm not going to say goodbye yet. I'm going to imagine him out there, still on the road, doing what he loves with all his heart and humor. He added, has standing on stage, killing. Another two hours set in front of a couple hundred of the luckiest people on the planet. They're laughing so hard, they weep. Bob was found dead in a hotel room at the Ritz-Carlton in Orlando last Sunday after performing at the Ponte Vedra concert hall the night before. He reportedly had called his wife before going to bed and had also taken to Twitter to say how happy he was to be back performing live on stage. The following day, Bob's wife grew concerned when he could not be reached last Sunday morning or by the afternoon, with security of the hotel opening his room door to find him unresponsive in bed. He was married to journalist Kaylee Rizzo and is survived by three daughters that he shared with ex-wife Sherry Kramer, who he was married to between 1982 and 1997.